The goal of today's video is to help you configure your Alinko DJ MD5 XTG to be used for analog APRS transmission. So first, go ahead, plug your radio into your computer, set your appropriate COM port, and go ahead and read your existing code plug from your radio to your computer. Next, go up to the Tools menu, go to Options, and make sure that you have both GPS and APRS options checkmarked. Finally, we're going to go to Optional Settings, go to GPS Ranging, turn GPS on, get GPS positioning on, configure your appropriate time zone, and leave your GPS mode to GPS if you're in North America. This will give you a faster satellite lock time compared to if you had it for GPS and Baidu. So go ahead and leave it to GPS. So now we're going to go to APRS and configure this. So APRS transmit tone is off. That's important. Otherwise, if you set it to on, your radio will emit a APRS tone out of your speaker, which is very loud and obnoxious. So leave that off and I can assure you that the radio will still transmit APRS. The next two boxes, destination, call sign, and SSID, leave as configured as default. If you change them, they will most likely not work with your local GP, uh, APRS network. Next, go ahead and populate your personal call sign and an SSID. The next two boxes, you can look up information about APRS map icons and symbol tables, but basically if you have a slash and an ampersand, this will work out to a person. Next, you can leave your signal path to wide 1-1, which is one hop through your digipeter. And then you can add some text. Let's say, for example, if you are at a ham fest, you can put that, or otherwise you can leave that blank. But every, every bit of text that you have in here, that's going to go out with every one of your transmissions. Finally, we're going to set the, G, the APRS frequency in North America. It's 144390. And then you can leave everything else default and you can change your power level to your liking. I'm going to leave mine set to high. So now that we've gone to the configuration, let's go ahead and program a channel. So first one we're gonna do is APRS voice alert. This functions as if a regular simplex channel with a PL encode and decode. So if somebody transmits voice on this frequency, you will be able to hear it. So let's go ahead and make a few other small adjustments, change the channel to analog, transmit to high, bandwidth to 25 kilohertz. You're going to set APRS report to analog, and you're gonna change it to either start or end of transmission. I prefer end of transmission. And then finally, since we're going to add voice alert as a function, we're gonna configure it to 100 hertz. And again, if somebody was to transmit with a 100 hertz tone and you have your radio on this channel, you will be able to hear them. So that's the first channel. Now let's find a more practical application. So let's say, for example, if you're at a public service event and you would like to monitor a local repeater, but you'd also like to share your location, you can go ahead and do that. So I cloned a, a, a local repeater. Let's go ahead and rename it so we know exactly what this is. And then the only thing that we basically need to do is just change it to APRS report analog and APRS end of transmission, and that's it. So now what'll happen is when I'm on, on this particular uh, repeater frequency, it'll work just as normal, but every time that I unkey my PTT, it'll send an APRS packet that does not go out over the repeater. It transmits on 144.390. So with one channel, you basically give yourself the ability to do uh, reporting for APRS. So hopefully this gives you some ideas to how to configure APRS transmission on your Alinko. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop some comments in the chat window below.